guys what's up it's Sahira and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and join the fam I make a lot of fun videos you're already here you probably watched a couple we're lit over here so today's video is going to be kind of like a commentary type of video I am going to be talking about Muslim representation specifically in Western media this was inspired by the trailer that just came out for the Apple plus original movie called Hala the Muslim community on the internet has kind of just been walling rightfully so if you haven't seen the trailer already don't but um if you want to see it I will link it down below Hala is a movie about a teenage Muslim girl who is struggling with her faith and wanting to it seems like she wants to you know fit in and then she has this like sh sh this thing with this white boy and it's directed by a muslim girl but it's executive produced by jada pinkin smith and so it's just been getting a lot of flack a lot of attention so i'm just going to share my thoughts and also just my thoughts on muslim representation in western media in general if you are new to my channel you may not know that i talk a little bit about my issues with muslim representation i'm at a point where i don't even like consuming any media that focuses on a muslim person because i just know it's gonna be bad the way i like to get my muslim representation in regards to like uh, media is usually through social media i'd rather interact directly with an individual who has more control over how they are being portrayed online rather than um, a lot of these traditional medias like television and books which you know can be manipulated and I literally would rather know Muslim character than for the Muslim character to be there and just want to be white like or want to be whitewashed or all of a sudden you know they have issues with their parents and they want to rip off their hijab and this white boy is the only savior they have like I would rather not see a Muslim person at all I know a lot of people that are like oh but it's like representation and I'm like I don't give a fuck like I don't care also I'm hella weird about um, Muslim representation and media in general because I am black and Muslim if that wasn't obvious and there is a huge lack of black Muslim representation in film and in books even though when you look in regards to certain fields like music um, fashion especially there's nothing but black Muslims even if you think about well-known prominent black figures figures in America Muhammad Ali Malcolm X all Muslim um, you think about rappers Dave East uh, like literally just Muslim people um, and they're black and Muslim however when you look on TV and when you look in books like you like we're just pretty much erased I literally cannot think of a YA book featuring a black Muslim main character and that's sad I would say the best word to describe it is I'm triggered I'm very much triggered and traumatized by it I already have a bit of a hard time connecting with any Muslim because I know they're not gonna be black when I look at them on my TV screen or in a book the additional layer of them like hating themselves and like feeling oppressed and like it's just it really is traumatic and when I was younger um, I kind of internalized some of these ideas and I've just really tried my best to protect my um, my sanity and my Dean when I watched the trailer I saw it on Twitter I knew what it was gonna be about already like I saw her her hijab was back here I was like oh here we go and then when her mother was like oh don't let her skateboard I was like yup like I already know what this is gonna be about it didn't shock me it didn't stir nothing in me something else has come up though is that I believe that the actress isn't even Muslim also I know that the director is Muslim but she doesn't even wear hijab but the main character wears hijab I don't know what is that for added like sauce like from is that for more conflict like I don't know what the point of that was and a lot of people were like oh Jada Pinkett Smith is involved like I'm so disappointed in her but at the end of the day like she's not Muslim and I don't know what y'all expect you know like we kind of control the ideas of what's normalized and what the normal Muslim looks like it comes from us and like obviously certain medias and like certain um industries can change that for their own purposes but at the end of the day if a muslim person is telling her like this is how we need to be represented what's she gonna do like 
she's gonna be like no i personally think it's very on brand um and i think it's really problematic and it's not a film that i would watch unfortunately hala is not the first and won't be the last type of media that portrays muslim people in this light there's the show rami on hulu i watched one episode a lot of you guys have been dming me talking about the show elite on netflix i've never watched it but the stuff that y'all have told me about like the muslim girl in there has mm -hmm very problematic like apparently sis took off her hijab to like get a boy to like her and then was making out with him and i was like okay all right but the place i've seen it the most is definitely in books i'm gonna name some books that have muslim women either portrayed as oppressed written by muslim people um who have issues with their faith who barely practice if they practice at all or they see islam as a culture or they're obsessed with white boys internment has all of the above and um the main character was with a white jewish boy love hate and other filters is just another book that portrays islam as a culture rather than a religion even a very large expanse of sea by tahira mafi which a lot of people really liked and i've heard a lot of good things about the islamic representation she is also with a white boy it's not about them being white it's more so about the fact that none of these love interests in any of these stories are muslim muslims are not allowed to date in general and if you don't know muslim women are not allowed to be with men that aren't muslim you would never know this because every form of muslim media has a muslim girl with a non-muslim guy there's a book coming out out really soon by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed called Yes No Maybe So and it is about a Muslim girl and a white Jewish guy and it's their love story and I'm just like these are realities for a lot of Muslim people right and so I never want to silence people and I never want to tell people that their stories or their feelings aren't valid it's a separate issue the Muslims creating these types of works whether it's film whether it's shows whether it's books you have white people you have non-Muslims who are the gatekeepers to these industries and they will pick what they see as appropriate representation like I was saying with Jada Pinkett Smith she doesn't know that this is a problem you know what i'm saying because you have a muslim person telling her this is my story america hates muslims america doesn't like muslims in general people that are more conservative they get a lot of flack anyway i'm not surprised that given the complex history between muslims and america that when you given the opportunity a non-muslim will pick a story about a girl that is struggling she is oppressed she's looking for freedom and her family's holding her back her faith is holding her back she wants to fit in and be like other girls and this boy this white boy is her savior of course they would pick these stories to share and promote and that's the issue if the hollow film or any of these books or media that i mentioned resonate with you and if they add something to your life then like alhamdulillah that's your business but there is a lack of media that shows the other side which i would argue is the majority of muslims in america a lot of us have regular everyday struggles that have nothing to do with us being muslim sure everybody sins we go through issues with our faith but there's a difference between being like oh i sin like y'all allah forgive me and you know i'm disappointed in myself because i know i shouldn't be doing this i can do better how do i fix this than being like oh my gosh i want to do x y and z and islam is holding me back like these are two different dynamics they're not the same thing based off of these medias you would think no muslim girl wants to be muslim like you would think like honestly when i watch these um trailers and i read these books or i hear about these stories i'm like y'all really hate your faith like y'all really hate yourselves it's just really sad to see that even now when you have so many muslims that are in control of um our own portrayals in regards to social media and our online presence you still have stories like these being pushed to the forefront like nobody is giving sk ali the um the props that she deserves nobody is giving these muslim people that are writing stories about unapologetic muslim girls the same type of respect or notoriety these stories are not being pushed these these um films are not being picked up by major producers these stories are not being picked up by major publishers it is a narrative that they want to keep pushing and that is the problem i'm just gonna be really honest as a black muslim as a black person i've noticed that non-black muslim people are obsessed with whiteness they are obsessed with white people they are obsessed with pleasing white people and it's very apparent like all of these stories that i named to you none of these muslim girls or guys are with people that aren't white 
they're all with white people as if white is the only other race also there is a big issue with the fact that the only stories that are promoted are from Desi or Arab Muslims as if they are the only people that are Muslim I've noticed this even inside of our Muslim communities the way that a lot of y'all fetishize these white reverts is gross Y'all are obsessed with whiteness and the closer proximity to whiteness that you can get, the better. And honestly, that's a big reason why non-black Muslims don't like black people because we're the opposite of whiteness. And if I'm being honest, black Muslims are always unapologetic about their faith, about their deen. You will rarely see a black Muslim represented that is anything but proud to be both black and Muslim. And that's the issue because whenever you see these Arab girls, these Desi girls, and I'm not, talk I'm not trying to talk about people, I'm just talking about how they're portrayed y'all hate yourselves even when there's like Muslim atrocities like y'all are obsessed with trying to prove to non-muslims that we are not dangerous that we are peaceful and I'm like I'm not trying to please my oppressor like I feel like Muslims shouldn't care what non-muslims have to say same way how black people shouldn't care what white people have to say it really adds no values to our lives I saw something on Twitter and I'm if I can find it, I'm gonna put it up this girl tweeted and she was like oh if it was up to you Muslim Twitter y'all would want everybody to be praying five times a day and girls wearing hijab and like feeding the poor and da 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 and I'm like is this not your religion like is this not is that not what you believe because if it's not find another faith but if it is like what is the problem and they literally called the rest of muslim twitter the muslims on twitter that had an issue with the hala movie extremists like wow subhanallah like how crazy is that people that want to practice their religion are seen as extremists is why Allah says for us to not display our sins and he's doing us a favor if he hides our sins now there are obviously exceptions for example if you are talking about things that you have done in the past as a means to show how you got through it to show your growth or to talk about how it's wrong then alhamdulillah like you're and if your intentions are pure then I feel like that is a good thing that is helping people that's telling people that dark place you were in I was there too and this is how I got out of it which we don't we're not seeing that like I really feel like what are the point of these films like what's the point of these books I don't understand this book all American Muslim girl by Nadine Jolie Courtney I haven't read it yet but a lot of the um, praise is gotten a lot of praise and one of the things that you see even in the description of the book is that it starts off with a girl who comes from a non practicing Muslim family and Islam really isn't anything major in her life and it shows and she's with a white boy she has a boyfriend but it shows her journey to discovering her faith and gaining iman that is positive that's showing the real side of being a muslim being a muslim in america that we sin and we struggle and showing a better outcome you hate your religion you hate your scarf you just want to fit in with jill and jessica and bobby and bill like okay like mashallah sis and for some people unfortunately this is a reality for a lot of muslims specifically a lot of muslim girls that um they are being forced to practice and because of that they have resentment against Islam and if anybody's going through that I ask that Allah heals y'all and I ask that he removes that toxic that toxicity from your life but majority of people majority of Muslims there's nobody holding a gun to your head telling you to practice it's very frustrating because I just feel like do your thing you know like if that's what you want to do nobody can really stop you it's not realistic that is the biggest issue when you have um, non-owned voices people or a lack of representation in these industries you allow them to create whatever narratives that they want to like I'm I guarantee you there's really not any other Muslim people involved with this film except for the director and that's a problem because even if that is her story right and like I'm not taking it away from her and I saw people on Twitter that was like oh my gosh I resonate with this so much that's cool but are we going to give the same type of attention for a uh, film writer who is trying to write a story about how she gained faith, how she gained Iman, like how she found her relationship with Allah, how she strengthened that? Are we going to, is that going to be pushed? You know what I'm saying? Or are we going to see stories where them being Muslim is a non factor? Somebody tweeted and they was like, can we just get a, a, a movie about Muslim girl skating? Like, that's it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for a lot of people, being Muslim is who we are. It's like, for me, being Muslim is the same thing as me being black. Like, there's no 
it is not it's not like a coat <laughs> that I have to put on you know what I'm saying it's literally who I am and we ex I exist at these intersections and they cause no issues for me and alhamdulillah like that is a blessing but I really want us to see other medias that push this that just as much or even more you see that yes there are people that are struggling and we ask that Allah heals them and we ask that they gain the strength to deal with the test that they're going through but there are also a lot of us that don't have those same struggles it's hard enough to living most muslims belong to multiple marginalized communities like it's hard enough to just exist a lot of these producers these publishers they think that these stories are so interesting that it's too boring to write a story about a muslim character that is okay with being muslim but in reality like i said we have a whole bunch of other stuff going on the idea that it's only interesting if a muslim girl doesn't like who she is because at the end of the day if you're a muslim it's a part of your identity and if you're not liking that that is a part of you not liking yourself and it's really dangerous it's really dangerous similar to how there shouldn't only be the portrayal of black people as in gangs as um criminals drug dealers and poverty even though this is the reality for a lot of black people and it is their truth it is also damaging to young black people and black people in general if all they consume from media is versions of ourselves or portrayals of our communities in a negative way seeing somebody going through struggles is important because it's real right but it's also important to show people the opposite so they know that this is not this does not have to be your reality this is a topic as you can see i'm very passionate about and i'm going to continue to talk about it on my platform it is my responsibility to make sure that my faith and my people are portrayed correctly so a lot of these books that i mentioned if you look at the reviews all the non-muslims love it like so many people have been dming me and messaging me when i was starting to ask for like what are books or movies or whatever you've seen Muslim representation and they're like this is amazing representation and I had to be like sis no it's not it's really it's really not like it's really not and they don't know and like I said like it's not their fault but even if you want to talk about doing research if all the portrayals of Muslim people that you see is that they are oppressed and that women we need to be freed and this is against our choice like we don't love this we don't want to be here that's what people accept as the truth and i'm going to continue to challenge that like i am muslim i love being muslim wallahi the best part of me come from me being muslim my creativity my activism literally the best parts of me comes from being muslim and my relationship with allah i love being muslim yes i struggle yes i commit sins and i try my best to do better every day and it's not a matter of judging people for how they sin or whether they conceal their sins or not. It's not a matter of bashing people that are struggling. It's not that it's not that their stories aren't important. It's not that people are asking to see perfect versions of Muslims. However, like we just want to see realistic portrayals of Muslims. And I feel like that's valid and I feel like it is our job to critique these things. I'm going to be talking about this a lot more on my channel. I have a lot of um, upcoming videos relating to Muslim representation and I'm going to speak uh, a little bit more about them later on. But yeah, if you guys watch the Hala trailer, comment down below what your thoughts are. Um, how do you feel about the about Muslim representation, especially if you're a non-Muslim? I would love to hear about certain um, stories or films that you watch with Muslim people that you think are good representation or whatever, because I would love to have this dialogue down below. Comment down below also some Muslim representations that you've seen, um, books, film, TV shows, good or bad. I know I was kind of just ranting and I was like really heated about this video, but I really want to make sure that you guys are hearing me and listening to me. And I want y'all to know that is a small portion of us and their stories are valid as well but i'm ready to see people like me i'm ready to hear stories about people like me who love their faith who love their religion I hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was a little crazy make sure you like comment and subscribe click that little bell down below and turn on your post notifications follow me everywhere at sincerely tahiri and i will see you guys in my next one bye